do remember one of the first places he played Bill outside of Bell Gardens was um, out there at uh, Knott's Berry Farm. He played out there at the, when they had that wagon train thing out there, you know, and the stage out there. He played there every Sunday because they were the only ones that were playing there mm -hmm. that I recall. I don't think there was any other band playing there. And there were several in his band at that time. I just got to know him a little bit every time, all the time, you know. And uh, we played the Knott's Berry Farm. He played Knott's Berry Farm. And uh, he'd give it up, and I took it over when he gave it up. So that's kind of, and I didn't want to do it because it was his job. I didn't want to take it, so I didn't take it, and uh, they're all really best buddies, <laughs> you know, really good friends. Not only did Bob and Eddie become best buddies, they formed a networking team. It was Denton who would introduce Eddie Cochran to Hank Cochran. Having played with both and having heard that 17-year-old Hank was looking to form a country-western duet, Bob arranged the meeting that quickly blossomed into a full-fledged partnership. 